Is photography an expensive hobby? And what about people that spend loads of money on it, but yet aren't professional? I saw a comment recently where somebody was talking about how the people shouldn't buy the most expensive camera that they can afford, especially people who aren't professionals. And um, I was thinking about that and thinking, really, is well, I, I kind of agree that people shouldn't buy equipment which they're not necessarily capable of using or is so advanced that they're not able to develop and use all the capabilities of something. And then I was thinking about the idea, a lot of people are saying that photography is such an expensive hobby. And and yes, it absolutely, you know, well, if, if it is your hobby, yes, it can be hella expensive. You've got, let, let, let's put this in the way of talking about the Nikon D800. You've got a camera there. The camera itself is £3,000. Getting a couple of lenses for it, probably going to put you up another two, maybe £3,000. So we're going six grand there. You're going to need a computer and editing suite, so probably put on another grand there. Memory cards, flashes, uh, extra hard drives, camera straps, camera bags, insurance. Yes, yeah, you could probably go up to about 10 grand's worth of my tripod as well. Yeah, 10 grand pretty easily, very quickly. 10 grand on what could just be a hobby. And some people think, oh, that's ridiculous, it's so expensive. But at the same time, you it doesn't necessarily have to be that expensive. You can get a 24 megapixel camera, the Nikon D3200, cheap second-hand flashes, cheap second-hand lenses, you can get cheap second-hand tripods and all that kind of stuff. You could probably have almost the same facilities in photography from spending £10,000 as what you can by spending maybe one and a half. But obviously some people want to spend a lot more, some people want to spend a lot less, or some people just can't afford to spend spend a lot more. But the question the question here is really is, if you've got the money, should anyone be like, oh, you, sh oh, you shouldn't be buying the most expensive? And I kind of thought, I don't think that's necessarily true because there are many hobbies out there which are equally as ridiculously as expensive, or, or even not even hobbies, what about people who just buy a motorbike? This, this, is, this is actually potentially an example I keep on thinking about. I keep on thinking, I'd love to have a motorbike. There is no reason that I need a motorbike. It's not going to be, I'm going to have to tax it, I'm going to have to fuel it, I'm going to have to buy it, I'm going to have to house it. I've already got a car, and a motorbike is just something I think I would kind of want so I could go and fly around the hills at, at the weekends. So if I were to go and spend, get the lessons, get the bike, get all that kind of stuff, tax insurance, all that kind of stuff, yeah, I could easily be spending about six grand minimum at the start. But what I probably wouldn't be doing is if I did get that, I'd be an amateur and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't be buying the fastest, most powerful, expensive motorbike I can possibly get. That's the only kind of difference there. And then another example I think is like, well, I, I do snowboarding and if you've got the money yeah people might kind of go right I want to go get the best gear but the best gear isn't the most advanced gear for you as in for example if I were or, or another one is skiing let's say you go oh I want to learn how to ski you don't then go and buy a pair of £1,000 Olympic downhill skis because that's not going to help you on the nursery slopes. I suppose you can think about photography that way as well. It's like you can go and buy a £3,000 camera, but that's not going to help you take better photos. However, if spending that £3,000 promotes you, motivates you, and gets you geared up to really work at it, practice at it, and enjoy what you're doing, then yeah. I would say if you've got three, if you if you've got five grand sitting around doing nothing and you love photography, I would say no problem. Go get whatever camera that you think will motivate you the most and promote your photography and your skills that you've got or help you develop more skills with your photography, then yeah, absolutely go for it. However, if you go and buy the most expensive camera that you can possibly get your hands on and then find out, oh, it's a bit heavy and I'm just taking it 
down the street and not shooting that much, you might oh, I'd much rather have a smaller camera after buying it. Or if you go, yeah, great, I've taken loads of photos, but oh, I don't have enough hard drive space, got to buy more hard drives, oh, I can't be bothered, I'll just take one or two photos of it next time. That's not really helping you. So what my, my only advice on this would be buy the best equipment that you can afford which will help you develop the skills that you want to progress. So if you're a beginner skier, you buy the best that you can afford beginner skiers, not Olympic downhill two meter long skis. And if you've just got your motorcycling license, don't go and buy a Honda Double R 600 or whatever it is, like the, the, the race bike, because that will have like 200 horsepower and you'll probably kill yourself straight away. Or scare the living crap out of you that you won't actually want to go on the bike ever again. I'm trying to think of some more kind of hobby examples. Oh, well, well here was another one. Um, I tried paragliding uh, a couple of years ago and you can get the best beginner parachute thing. So, so you, you're up on the hill, you pull it up and it goes up and a beginner one is usually a little bit bigger and easier to fly. But the more professional one, the more expensive one, is a little bit smaller and more maneuverable but harder to keep going straight or something like that. You know, there's lots of different things. Okay, little, little test for you. Guys, can you put any examples or tips where you have had hobbies which are equivalent where you can get the best but doesn't necessarily mean the most advanced? for whatever position you're at in your sport. So anyway, that's just my thoughts for today. I hope that helps and I hope you like that. And anyway, remember, at the bottom of this, there's a link to the charity page where I'm going to be doing my charity trek, which is going to be in September. So have a little click on that. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye-bye.